as a kid, I thought, I'm going to have a house where I can get up in the morning and go downstairs and open up a giant glass wall and take a helicopter out of my house and take off right from my house and go any place I want to go. From a very early age, I both wanted to know more and more about the rules by which this universe of ours operates. And through the world of engineering, I wanted to start applying those rules to create inventions that would give people a better quality of life if those inventions work. Throughout my life, I only start on projects, typically, if enough credible people tell me, you're nuts. Because then you know, this must be a big problem. What do inventors do? Inventors look at problems, the same problems everybody else looks at, but see them differently. I like projects where you can't use linear thinking to get from A to B to C to where we are. You have to take a big intellectual leap. We could empty half of all the beds in all the hospitals in the world by just giving people clean water. What Slingshot does is exactly what nature does. Nature makes water pure by heating it up, evaporating it, it rains down, and we collect it before it gets polluted again. If you touch it, it feels like the bed liner of a Chevy truck. People ask me what it's made out of. It's actually made out of the bed liner of a Chevy truck. <laughs> Dean came and pours this awful fetid water into this machine, and he says, now drink it. And so, <laughs> I did. And I'm still here, it works. Global organizations work on top-down, government-to-government programs. They don't understand that the 21st century problem needs a 21st century solution. There's a lot to be said for, let's minimize risk, let's know what we're doing. But when the currently available solutions are woefully inadequate, we've got to find a totally new approach. It's time to change. Greetings, Christine Kamen. I hope your fundraiser in Falls Church works great. Be there.